Welcome Back conference. We hope you had an exciting time getting to learn more about the draft objectives of the Triennial Plan. We all want to know more about all candidates nominated for election to the 2021 until 2024 term of the World Scout Committee, and this is their time to introduce themselves. This conference will elect, in accordance with the constitution of WASM, 12 new voting members. They will have a mandate until the next meeting of the World Scout Conference in 2024. First, we will listen to a recorded presentation of each candidate. Longer presentations are available on the website at scoutconference.org slash candidates. After the presentations, I will explain how the voting works. The voting will be opened at the end of the plenary session today, and it will remain open until the start of the plenary session tomorrow at 12 p.m. GMT. At this time, we can confirm that all World Scout Committee candidates have complied with their obligations to undertake the WASM Code of Conduct for elections training. They have also declared their sources and amounts of funding and expenditure in compliance with 3D and 3M of the WASM Code of Conduct for elections. We also want to make the conference aware that the Ethics Committee will continue to be in session to ensure the observance of the Code of Conduct and deal with any complaints or breaches to the Code of Conduct. All complaints will be investigated and dealt with by the Ethics Committee. Please note that the order of the presentations is random and has been decided by drawing lots. Be aware that some of the candidate videos might be in French, so please make sure that you will have interpretation ready. I ask you to refrain from any sort of applause or virtual recognition of individual candidates during their presentations. So now, are you ready? Let's start with the first videos. Hi, my name is Andy Chapman, and I am honored to be a candidate for re-election to the World Scout Committee. Scouting has been one of the most impactful guiding forces in my life, 
And for this reason, I continuously strive to give back to a movement that has gifted me so many life skills and experiences. Over the last four years, I've had the privilege of serving the World Scouting Movement in key leadership positions that I believe make me uniquely qualified. This includes serving as Vice Chairperson of the World Scout Committee, serving on two standing committees, the Steering Committee and the Finance Committee, serving as a member of the Growth and Strategy Coordination Group, and as an ex officio board member of the World Scout Foundation. I also represented WASM at all six Region Scout conferences, and I had the pleasure of meeting many of you in person. I am committed to serving the movement for another three years, and I hope your NSO will support me. Thank you. Hello, I'm Sahali Marimis from Cote d'Ivoire. I'm running for World Scout Committee to continue to serve our movement that I love and that changed my life in the last 25 years. I motivate to see more active young people, especially women, to have a bigger role and social impact in the NSO by having more opportunity to express themselves. I really dream to see more scouts raising awareness about climate change and multiply the sustainable action to save our planet. We heard all the time that our beloved health in only home we have. It's time to do all the possible to preserve it. I'm also motivated to challenge our movement in terms of going a bit further to tackle inequality and achieve true diversity and inclusion for all. To really grow, no one will be left behind. The Scouts salute teach us the stronger should protect the fragile one. With mutual aid and cooperation between NSO, we will grow together. Thanks. Hello, marhaba. I remember when I was a kid, the scout meeting that my brother and my sister organized in our home. I am Khalil Rehani, a local scout supported by Moroccan scouting. Why I ask you to vote for me? I am a researcher in youth. I served scouting in three regions. I come with an international youth expertise with Council of Europe and with the League of Arab States. I will never forget what I learned to include more youth knowledge to our action, to support NSOs to be key player in coup planning national youth policy. The elite renewal is the key for more emerging realities. Yes, I can bring a positive contribution to the sustainable future of scouting. Vote for me, your voice matters. Sautokom Mohim Vovoa Kont. Merci. Hello, dear scout sisters and brothers. I am Ani Kim from Korea, a professor in a virtual university. I have used my experience and expertise to serve as an international commissioner, if it can be achieved in the next World Scout Jamboree, chair of Sunjan Asia Pacific Scout Center, and a member of Good Governance Subcommittee in APR Ujum. I will do first support Ujum to reside in China mainland with precious and valuable scouting. Second, assist NSOs with a set of e-learning management system for its educational services. Third, empower youth to become a global lead with new educational technologies. Thank you very much. Ohubua, hasta la vista, afuido jane. Hello. I am Jose Antonio Hernandez Gallegos, International Director of Scouts of Mexico. Being a member of the World Committee based on my scout and professional career, I will present a communication strategy to bring the World Committee closer with the regional committees so that we comply with the goals of the vision and the linear plan. Let us help to strengthen the finance of the organization at global and regional level. Let us further promote youth leadership through intergenerational dialogue, let us straighten the health protection protocol as well as a progressive and safe return to our activities, always hand in hand with the Safe from Harm program. I am a full and capable man, and I am here before you with the security and confidence that with your vote, I will collaborate without the reservation to fully comply with these proposals. Yours in Scouting, Jose Antonio.
Dear friends in scouting, chers amis scout, my name is Chrissy Politi from Germany and I have been a scout since my childhood. To this day, scouting is the best leadership, service and personal development program that I know. And it's our goal to bring even better scouting to more young people. Together, as a movement united in diversity, we can do that. Together, we can overcome the challenging consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic and steer our movement into an even brighter future. Scouting has given me the aspiration to understand the world as it is and to carry a vision for what it could be. I wish to serve on the World Scout Committee to offer my 10 years of expertise and experience in national, regional and global scouting leadership, my background as a change in communications director and lots of scout passion. Let's go, but together. Thank you for your consideration. Dear friends in scouting, chers amis scout, four years ago, I stood before you with a strong motivation and a promise to work hard to support NSOs and grow together. Today, I'm standing ready to renew that promise. Over the past four years, I've led WOSM's work on Vision 2023 and growth, coordinating our strategic planning and launching WOSM's growth strategy, supported by the new WOSM services for NSOs. Having witnessed your resilience and your actions over the last year, my motivation and my belief in the potential of our movement is stronger than ever. World Scouting has challenging but also exciting years ahead, and I'm keen to strengthen our support to NSOs to recover from the pandemic, reach out to bring scouting to new communities, continuing our road to growth, and complete our journey towards achieving our vision. This is a time for all of us to come together, and I invite you to join me as we go further to reach Vision 2023 and beyond. I am Wayne Adrian Davis. I'm a candidate for the World Scout Committee, nominated by the Ethiopia Scout Association. Brother and sister Scouts, these are truly unprecedented times, and scouting, more than ever, is providing millions of young people with hope, ways, and means to overcome this persistent crisis. I'm confident that our Vision 2023 and core values will continue to empower us to reach more young people and overcome these present adversities. If I'm elected, I will work tirelessly to support the realization of our vision. And I'll also champion our great works in youth engagement, non-formal education, diversity and inclusion. I have the experience, skills and professional background to take up this responsibility and continue to add value to our organization. I hope to get your support. Thank you. Dear brothers and sisters in scouting, chers amis scouts, my motivation to stand for election comes from profound belief in the transformational power of scouting and the will to contribute to it. Serving in a variety of roles at different levels, I am familiar with the work undertaken by WASM and I am ready to address the challenges that we are facing, focusing on the following key areas. Recovering from the pandemic by providing targeted support to NSOs, ensuring youth engagement by fully integrating the voice of young people in the decision-making processes, promoting a more environmentally friendly organization by implementing clear sustainability practices, strengthening our unity, focusing on the NSO's aspirations for the future of our movement. Coming from the Eurasia region, I know what it takes to be a young female stepping up to leadership positions. I offer you my passion, my experience and my strong beliefs to serve the movement as a member of the World Scouts Committee. Thank you for your support. Merci beaucoup. Dear friends in scouting, this is Mohammad Atikus Zaman, National Commissioner for Youth Program of Bangladesh Scouts. With my long experience, knowledge and efforts, I am committed to dedicate myself to address the unprecedented challenges the scout movement is going through right now. I am highly motivated to run for the World Scout Committee for ensuring that all NSOs have modernized their youth program while incorporating SDGs and confirming youth involvement in all NSOs within the end of next triennium seriously working on retention of membership, which is threatened by COVID-19, involving scouting more deeply for bringing peace to this world, and achieving Vision 2023 and working for the next strategic plan. Dear brothers and sisters in scouting, we have hope in the face of difficulty, hope in the face of uncertainty. We have the audacity of hope 
through scouting because scouting is for better tomorrow. Scouting is for better world. Thank you so much. Peace be upon you. Chers frères et sœurs dans le scoutisme, salut. Les soucis d'accompagnement des jeunes ont toujours été ma préoccupation dans le milieu scolaire et dans le scoutisme. J'ai d'abord été bénéficiaire des opportunités éducatives comme jeune scout en progression avant de devenir volontaire national et international et enfin comme personnel salarié. J'ai décidé de me présenter aux élections de cette période 2021-2024 pour additionner mon expérience de la gouvernance et d'animation du mouvement scout à celle des autres membres qui seront élus. Je souhaiterais contribuer à l'amélioration de la qualité du scoutisme que nous offrons aux jeunes en cette période où le monde change vite et laisse des défis à nos jeunes. Merci et tous ensemble pour un monde meilleur. My name is Pia, and I strongly believe that every young person deserves the opportunity to become a scout, be part of a meaningful community, create strong relations, and experience relevant programs. The past four years have shown me the resilience of our movement. Even during a global pandemic, scouting doesn't stop, and we need to learn from that and ensure scouting remains strong and united in the coming time. For these reasons, I will work for stability and NSO support, by further strengthening the capacity of both NSOs and our movement in general, delivering and wrapping up Vision 2023 while ensuring a strong foundation to follow, and finally, scouting is the world's leading educational youth movement and should remain so. I offer my determination, my passion and commitment. In return, I hope for your trust, support and collaboration in the next Trainium. Dear friends, dear scouts, it's a great honor to stand for election to the World Sky Committee again. During my term as a World Sky Committee member, I was closely involved with the work of Good Governance Workstream Membership Management Unit, was a liaison for the World Sky Mood, worked on the establishing of Ethics Committee, finding more opportunities and fundraising for WOSM, supporting the Eurasia region in its transition. Having expertise and experience of entrepreneur, professional of large scale events, having legal background and leadership experience gave me a unique perspective during my service. In the next three years, I would like to focus on a few specific things which I believe must be achieved, such as revision of the guidelines for the world events, support youth empowerment, increase fundraising opportunities for WOSM and its members, strengthen governance support with focus on restoration of the NSOs after global pandemic. Work on the vision beyond 2023. I'm very motivated and energized to continue serving to the world movement for achieving our goals. Please contact me if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer. Thank you very much. Thank you for these presentations, candidates. Before moving to the next set of presentations, we will break for a little energizer to make sure we keep the energy and the tension levels up. Are you ready? Let's practice our dance moves. Well, that was fun. Yes. <laughs> I think we as chairs still have to keep practicing a little bit, though. I hope one day I can do it, yeah. <laughs> so, conference, let's continue listening to the presentation of our candidates. Um, we have been hearing quite a few. Let's continue doing so. I want to repeat that we ask you to refrain from any sort of applause or virtual recognition of individual candidates during the presentations. Let's go for the second set. Dear sisters and brothers in scouting, this is Mehdi from Tunisia. I'm excited and extremely motivated to continue serving the scout movement among an incredible team of talented fellows. It's for me a feeling of duty to serve a movement that helped me to be who I am today. 
I believe that the knowledge and the expertise that I gained from my personal, professional and scouting journey would be a great asset to succeed in this role. I'm committed to actively contribute to the growth of our movement by supporting our NSOs facing the post-pandemic period, developing WISM business model, and inspiring young people to be more engaged in decision-making in a safe-from-harm environment. Thank you for your efforts and energy and wishing you all an excellent conference. Yours in Scouting. Dear brothers and sisters in scouting, today, the largest youth generation ever is looking at the future with uncertainty, unsure about how it will look like. And our mission as scouts is to bring them the best support to be prepared, to develop their full potential, to have a happy life, and to be the citizens our world needs. And this is my motivation to stand as candidate for re-election, to keep contributing to the improvement of scouting, to ensure the best program and the safest environment for our young people, to support every member organization to overcome this crisis and to reinforce our common home, WOSOM, to lead our movement towards the future. And this is my commitment, to keep doing my best every day and to put always in the center our scouts and our values. I hope you will rely on me for this mission by supporting my candidature. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Shukran es pasiva. Muchísimas gracias. Kiana, hello. Friends, our priority for the future must be building on the success of Vision 2023 to create our next long-term vision. This vision needs to be built inclusively with NSOs. It must strengthen our unity and impact, improve our relevance and resilience, and enable a greater culture of support between WASM, its regions, and NSOs. My personal motivations are impact and service. And my commitment to you is that I will work hard to serve all members to grow our impact. As a successful Chief Commissioner, I have proven experience leading transformational change, and I am passionate about growth, diversity, and inclusion. My professional experience in finance, strategy, and sustainability will support our movement to thrive. Together, Let's create a better world. Dear friends and scouting, my name is Sir Fras Kamar. I've been a scout since my childhood. After being part of the leadership, I tried to raise standard of scouting through quality youth programs. In changing reality of COVID-19, we understand new trends in scouting, the innovative ideas and local action that were practiced in Pakistan and succeeded to organize six physical scout activities in last 22 months. This is my passion with scouting, to engage more young people, to develop a scout social profile through messenger of peace, our tribe, and community service to make this world better. I have expertise and capabilities to how scouting works from local level to the world level that will support to accomplish Trainium Plan 2021-24 and my aim to be part of the World Scout Committee is to make our world more stronger and together we can. Thank you all and support me to implement our best practices all around the globe. I am running as a candidate to the World Scout Committee for a second term because I would like to ensure that the work developed in the past decade at world level reaches its full potential. Since 2011, I have been involved as a youth advisor, a volunteer, and a member of the World Scout Committee in various capacities, particularly as a strategic oversight of educational methods. My contribution in the implementation of Vision 2023 would be to support you in our recovery from the pandemic by providing quality scouting in your own cultures and regions. This while focusing on keeping educational methods at the core of scouting, ensuring a safe environment through education, communications and governance, and achieving sustainable growth through capacity building and providing equal opportunities. My experience and motivation will help bridge the gaps and develop a new strategy for scouting that would cater for our future needs and goals as a movement. Hi, my name is Chairman Xiaoming Shen. 
the candidate for the World Scout Committee. My motivation is to devote millions of young people, just like what other dedicated leaders did when I was young. Scouting helps young people to see the world differently. Learning skills, collaboration, and leadership through learning by doing. I grew up in this environment, enjoyed a meaningful impact on my life, and I aspire to contribute what I have learned from others. Based on my experience at different levels of scouting, I'm well prepared with the confidence and skill to serve. I'm ready to dedicate myself to the World Scout Committee with a strong commitment and hard work to support and listen the member organizations. Please support me as I continue to contribute to scouting. Thank you. Hi, my name is Diana Ney and I am from Argentina. I know that a World Scout Committee member has a big responsibility in creating the channels, the opportunities and the spaces for all voices to be heard and taken into account in our organization. We belong to a global movement and it's our duty to make it truly plural and inclusive. I'm ready to put all my experience and my educational and social vision at the service of this organization. I feel prepared, enthusiastic and willing to take on this big challenge. I know the potential of this decision-making body and how much its members can achieve when working together. Recovering from this war crisis is not going to be easy from many points of view, but really, count on me to be part of the team that will think strategically about how to move forward. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Bonjour tout le monde. Je m'appelle Steve Kent. I am proud to be seeking election to the World Scout Committee. It will be an honor to use my skills and experience to not only help develop capacity for all our national scout organizations, but also to help our movement recover, as well as chart the course toward a brighter, bolder future over the next three years. We must continue the work being done globally that is contributing to the 2030 agenda, while also fostering meaningful youth engagement at every level of the organization. Fellow Scouts, my motivation is simple. I love scouting. I want to support our members in tackling the challenges young people face in today's world. I promise to do my part to ensure that we, as a global community, build back better. Together, let's keep creating a better world. I respectfully ask for your support. Thanks so much, and good scouting. I come from Eswatini Scouts Association. I now present myself as a candidate for the World Scout Committee. The most important issue facing World Scouting today is the issue of social impact, diversity, and inclusion. Scouting can increase social impact by increasing the quality and quantity of community development projects by supporting NSOs in addressing the social and local uh, society. Scouting can support NSO through the World Scout Committee. That's where I want to serve as a member of the World Scout Committee. Please, if you vote for me, I'll simply look at the three issues that I have mentioned about diversity, inclusion, and impact. Dear Scouts, to continue to serve the World Scout Committee for the next triennium is one of a duty call rather than an ambition of a self-justification. I'm committed towards serving in achieving Vision 2023 and the work on the six strategic priorities. The pandemic has directly affected our movement. Therefore, I'm convinced resilience is the need of the art. With over 40 years of experience in scouting and as a professional lawyer, my contributions would undoubtedly be of value. One main concern is the drop in membership and fees in some NSOs. We will have to develop new strategies to overcome this. Having been a team player in many capacities, I'm able to contribute positively to achieve the goals and obstacles ahead. 
adopting to both victory and defeat in the same spirit and being resourceful in setbacks are my strengths. I hope you will consider voting for me once again and support the continuance of the dynamic work in progress, which I am proud to be part of. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ulusha Gashofala, former Chief Commissioner's Scout of Nigeria, and I'm a candidate standing for the All Scout Committee membership election 2021 to 2024. I would like to contribute significantly to the growth of membership of WOSIM towards the attainment of Vision 2023. Our financial growth and sustainability is key to us at WOSIM level. Again, increase the WOSIM direct training programs. If I am elected, definitely I'm going to work with other committee members in attaining all this. Thank you so much. Greetings, my brother and sister scouts. I'm Maury Chang from the Scout Association of Hong Kong. For me, I believe scouting is a life-changing experience, and I've seen the significant impact that scouting has made. Having served as a youth advisor to the World Scout Committee for the past four years, I've decided to stand for the World Scout Committee. The next training will be crucial to our movement. We'll need to focus on supporting our NSOs in the post-pandemic world. We'll continue to build on the work in the past training and formulate the next strategy for scouting and to ensure that scouting remains relevant and attractive for the future. I know that there are lots to be achieved in three years and it is especially challenging with the pandemic, but I'm eager and motivated to collaborate with every one of you. With the passion and experience that I've garnered in scouting, it would be my privilege to serve in a committee to steer the movement forward and to achieve Vision 2023 and beyond. Together, let's create a better world. Dear delegates, we have now heard from all the candidates who wish to be elected to the World Scout Committee for the next triennium. We thank each one of them for their interest and willingness to serve our movement as members of the World Scout Committee. We also extend our gratitude to the member organizations that nominated them. As mentioned earlier, the voting will be opened at the end of the plenary session today. It will remain opened until the start of the plenary tomorrow at 12 p.m. GMT. This means that you have until tomorrow's plenary session to cast your votes. Once we start our day tomorrow, we will formally close the vote. As for the election results, they will be announced by the end of the plenary session tomorrow. And now, let's remind ourselves on how the election process works. Here are the steps of how a delegation can cast their vote for the election of the World Scout Committee. Log in to the e-voting system and be ready to cast your vote. When a vote is activated, it will show on the left side of the screen under the active vote header. It will include the progress bar, a timer, and the voter turnout. The vote will be opened at the end of plenary. Your delegation will have about 20 hours to discuss and complete your vote. Click on the active vote. The details of the selected vote will appear on the right side of your screen with the options to cast your vote. Select the 12 desired candidates to elect. If you wish to split your vote, click on the split vote button to enable that function. Depending on the size of your browser, the split vote will appear as a drop down selection or a row with easy access to those options from zero to six. You can select or unselect each option by clicking. During the World Scout Conference, 
delegations will vote to elect 12 World Scout Committee members. Each delegation has a total of six votes per seat to be occupied. As the World Conference elects 12 World Scout Committee members, each delegation has a total of 72 votes, six times 12. Allocate your 72 votes accordingly across the desired candidates. Each candidate cannot receive more than six votes. Carefully review your allocation is correct. Note that once you have cast your vote, no further changes can be made. As a measure of caution, the confirm button will only activate once you have allocated all your votes. Confirm your vote by clicking the confirm button. A confirmation message that your vote has been submitted will appear. The vote will be closed at the start of the following plenary about 20 hours later. The results will be published and announced at a specific time during plenary. Once published, you can see the overall results of the vote. You will also see that you voted, but not how you voted, as this is a secret ballot vote. The 12 World Scout Committee members elected will be clearly announced in plenary. For this vote type, the results are determined based on the rules of procedure. The 12 World Scout Committee candidates receiving the most votes will be declared elected to fill the vacancies. In the event of a tie to fill the last vacant position, the youngest candidate between the ties will be declared elected. The 12 World Scout Committee members elected will be clearly announced in plenary. As during an in-person conference, we want to give you some time to meet and get to know better the World Scout Committee candidates. So next on the agenda is a meet and greet session with all the candidates. Each candidate has their own session. You will be able to move between the rooms and ask the questions you want to the candidates. We encourage you to go in and out of the candidate session to have the opportunity to meet as many candidates as you would like to. We will be back here again after this session for the financial report of the last triennium and the first voting session where we will vote on the draft resolution 2021B about the WASM registration fee system. Enjoy your session.